Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through a little hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. First 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after ten beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help! Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening! That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this You're not is the only me? one feels pressure! The factory situation is serious, Anne! Real serious! Not right now!
like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's curled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! <laughs> oh! Jesus! You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Maybe you should talk to Mom and Dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Son of a bitch clock.
Wow. Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me! You could be right about my family. I think so, too. Tanya! What's going on? That little brat locked me out! It's fucking freezing! I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Shit! Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious?
have you done? Mom, stop! Won't you spare me over till another And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale. to tell.
disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you, rational, emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice, for what it's worth, is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Uh. 
Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> We'll be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck. Where's my phone? Anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. I don't think leaving the bus is smart. I'm staying here. You can't stay. No one's been down this road since we crashed. No one knows we're here. You got something to prove here? And who put you in charge anyway? What is your problem? I get that you're the professor here, but that doesn't mean you can tell us what to do. I never saw you step up when there was a problem at college, Mr. Low Profile. The driver's done what we should be doing, gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. I can't believe the driver just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off.
Hey, that's the wrong way. We should walk towards town. All three of us together. Good to see you two, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <laughs> What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Bad things happened here a long time ago. Which you are dying to tell us all about. I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'd be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. You get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful. Watch out. Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. What? what? I walked away from you! We're trapped here! There's no way out! I, I don't understand! She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming.
I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can't leave here! Now okay. what can we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in Little No Hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You'd die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. I thought you'd have something to say, seeing as Angela likes to get involved in your business. Let her imagine whatever she wants. Probably drives her crazy. <laughs> I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. We standing here all night or we going inside?
Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, Sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. <clears throat> it's right there if you change your mind. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. Why are you still here? Yeah, if the place is as dead as you say, what are you still doing here? I come and go. You know how it is. Anyway, I can't help you. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless, just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double, or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Uh, booze gone in my head. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Can you help us or not? Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> There's no goddamn us.
vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. You really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? feeling about this we'll figure it out the way this fog just appears it's not natural can you two make an effort to keep up Can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two, we need to stick close. there. Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny.
Hey, wait for us! What is that? There is something very weird about this fog. Stay close.
wondering if the fog wants to keep us here. Won't let us leave. Hey, come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Your name, sir. <laughs> Pray tell me your name, lady. Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say, so we are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Amen. Amen. Come back here. There's someone else out here. By the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? This place is all wrong. Whatever happened here, it's over now. 
You have no clue. You didn't see what we saw. I don't get it. What exactly happened here? I'm not sure. At the time, it seemed so real, but... Now it's all gone. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary... Did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, Spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps... He represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. She sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right.
Might get a better view from up there. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? You need to stay calm and positive. Panicking won't help anyone, and I, for one, have no intention of spending any longer out here than is absolutely necessary. I'm right with you. Appreciate you checking in with me. This have something to do with what we saw? <sighs> that would explain it. There's something up ahead!
Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. Hey, you two! <gasps> this is not good. Anyone there? Hello? Anyone? troubling times. Wait, don't go. Stay away. What the hell are you? What do you want? Look, it's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions! Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that! I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split Those up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm a John. I'm with Taylor. Seriously? You want to go with her? For me, this is a bad idea. Very bad. I'll team up with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Just you and me, kid. I'm glad you stuck with me. You 
pick the winning team. Hold up. You hear that? the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. Now what? Are you okay? I wonder where the others are right now. Feels like it's my fault we split up in the first place. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there... You think that was really supernatural? It's sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. Great job. Glad you made it over. That was crazy back there. Sorry I took off like that. I'm more twitchy than I thought. Thanks for coming after me. Let's carry on, shall we?
This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? <laughs> On strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie can make a shot like that? Safe enough. Piece of cake. I know you saw something. It's written all over you. I don't want to discuss it. What I want is to get far away from here. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. I wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. Goes for both of us. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way.
That must be what we heard just now. Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little girl you saw with Andrew before? She's dressed different. Don't get too close. talking about get away or you will find me <gasps> come on out mary i know very well you are in there please no let me go i will release you once i'm sure you will not speak of our secret your childish games tire me you will respect me and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I have done nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth, one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Can someone tell me what just happened? The girl with the priest. That's the one I saw with Andrew. There must be a connection between her and the other girl. I think you're right. I... I don't get it. We have to get away from here. Far away. Agreed. Let's go. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Ahem. <clears throat> Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Here, need a hand? Let me help you. Uh. 
I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Wherever it leads, it's wreaking havoc on my shoes. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. The place must have been a grocery store or something. Over here, look at this. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. <laughs> Come on, I thought you were all muscle. Let me see if I can get this open. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. It'll be fine. You got Angela here with you. Don't take a Sunday morning stroll when you get in there. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. I'm in! Is it safe? Think so. Pull your finger out of your ass and open the goddamn door! <clears throat> Taylor, the door won't open! Okay, we'll look for another way around. Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. 
You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? This place is creeping me out. It's full of old ass useless shit. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Can you step on it? We'd like to get out of here sometime. Sure thing. Hold on, I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. For me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What? I don't know you. John? Open the door, Josie. This instant. Something ails you. What? You seem changed, even your attire. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. John, too? <sighs> well... Lookalike Angela was arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. This is ridiculous. There are no witches, never have been. What kind of people accuse others of that kind of crap? The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town.
What do you think? I'm not so sure we'll find anything useful in here. It's derelict. You students are all the same. Doom, gloom, and negativity. Never mind how it looks. All we need is one phone to still be hooked up. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. These small town police stations all look the same. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace.
real nice. Keep looking. Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. There's gotta be something. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Line's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace.
is that? What do you think? Answer it. Wait. Let's think about this. Hello? Who is this? You need to engage. Say something to him. Who am I talking to? Whoever it is on this call is having some kind of breakdown. They sound delusional. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. What the f <laughs> Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shut you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? Let's get the fuck out of here. I beg you not to abandon me! By all that is holy, with whom are you conversing, woman? Even though I have seen this with my own eyes, I scarcely believe it. Amy is lost to us. Even now she pleads for evil spirits to remain by her side. You must help me. I beg you. She can hear us. If she can, then maybe others can too. I would ask the court to hear direct testimony. A witness who saw with her own eyes the accused take part in some unspeakable satanic ritual. In the woods, outside of this very town. Reverend Carver, you mislead us all. Forgive me, good judge, but it is my wife who stands accused, and I know her to be innocent. I would not be so quick as to cast stones at others, Joseph. Not when your own conduct does not bear scrutiny. Please hear me, good judge. All accusations against me are false. They're founded only in malice. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your no touch no will no release no her from this affliction. It must be so, if you are the one who bewitched her. I don't think I can take much more of this. I think it's almost over. What more proof is needed that the...
walks among us in little hope. <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? The whole thing scared the crap out of me. But that little girl was freaky. My gut says her fit was a setup, a scam to put that woman on trial in even bigger trouble. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. The woman we just saw condemned? I saw her back at the intersection. She was in deep shit. And she knew it. It's tough to watch. Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on. Let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. Uh, we can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Uh, 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 <sighs> Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Are you okay? I know what happened. That other version of me was arrested, charged with witchcraft. She stood trial and was condemned for witchcraft. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. Who is she? What the hell does it mean that she's here? She can't be real. She has to be a manifestation. You mean the reason she's here is because you're here? You got a better explanation? I don't have an explanation. John says witch trials really happened right here in Little Hope. He's right. I think they did. Then that woman was on trial hundreds of years before I got here. So how can I be manifesting her? Reincarnation? Reincarnation? Why not? You came back here because of her, because you once were her. And the rest of us? We're all reincarnated from these people and we happen to be at the same college on the same bus trip here? Like I said, I don't have an explanation. I'm just guessing is all. This fog is getting worse.
Daniel, you need to see this. What is it? You've been keeping your career as a guitar player under wraps? What the? How is that even possible? Can't see for shit. Oh, Jesus! The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor? You keep telling us you're in charge, so... Maybe we need to check all our other options first. Right. Thought so. Come on. I want off this bridge as fast as possible. But not that fast. Someone has to go first. You lead. I'll be right behind you. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, 1692, we are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. What's going on? Why, why do you look like Angela? Your words have little meaning to me, but I beg you. Help me. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! But Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. If Little Hope has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference in your very face! Isaac.
What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned. All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than... Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. <laughs> well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. Given the way in which the stakes have been uh, elevated, some kind of weapon might be useful about now. Don't you think? You really should have explored more thoroughly, you know. Too late now. The boys have some interesting theories. Could they, as Andrew has suggested, be the reincarnated?
peoples of their historical counterparts. Or maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory, that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? <laughs> <laughs> okay then, we will once again turn to the Bard for some cryptic inspiration. I met him once, you know. I meet everybody once. Act 5, Scene 1, where Cleomenes begs Leontes to forgive himself for causing the death of Hermione. Do as the heavens have done. Forget your evil. With them, forgive yourself. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. seen anything like it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? The gaping mouth, those dead soulless eyes? Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. We did. Thank God we're all okay. Right now, we're safe. That thing, whatever the fuck it was, is still out there. Could be hunting us as we speak. It was in chains. Just like the woman who went in the water. I don't believe that's coincidence. Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? They can't be far behind us. Let's just get out of here. Can we keep moving? I don't feel safe here. Gotta get away from here. That thing is out there. Let's stay away from that bridge. 
I'm all for putting as much distance between us and that hideous thing as we can. Pretty sure Daniel and Taylor would be thinking the same thing. Out of sight, quick! get some peace around here best to keep out of his way I reckon that woman's final words keep buzzing in my head to end what's happening in little hope the little girl has to be stopped was she talking about stopping more witchcraft accusations or something else I couldn't tell come on let's go I'll go in and take a look around. How you doing? I I'm wondering if that thing could be coming after us. Don't think it's coming after us. What makes you so sure? You and me gotta stay real close now. When you say close, how close exactly? This close? Okay, Taylor, relax. Maybe not that close. <sighs> What's that? Nothing, probably. I heard something. I don't like this. I want to go another way. Don't think there is another way. Quite the tourist trail. Not a place I want to revisit. Over here. You gotta check this out. That thing could still be around here. In the water. No, we left that thing way behind. We must have. Oh, shit. You're going first, right? You weigh half what I do. Better if you lead. I'm not crossing this crapped out bridge. No way. To find the others we got across. We got no choice. Fine. I'm heading across. You can follow me. If the bridge is still standing. Okay then.
You see this? Let's get out of here. Daniel! Get your hands off us! Quiet. I'll pick you. Mary? Mary? Mary! I am over this way! Mary. The fountain of all evil is here. If this evil is to end, Mary must be stopped. Who in the hell are you? Why do you look just like John? I have no answers for you. Perhaps I'm already under a witch's spell. There it lies. I found it. How did you come by this? Fashioned with my own hand. I take it to protect you. Suspicion and betrayal walk side by side in Little Oak. No one is safe. Please, Tabitha, let me keep here. Nothing. No working phone anywhere. Okay, so it looks like we really are trapped here. Still no sign of them? Nope. Not yet. I just hope they're both okay. I figured we'd have found the bus driver by now. Wonder where he's at. Why can't you leave us alone? I... I think she wants us to go after her. You want to follow her? She could be leading us into danger, even a trap. The two girls we've seen. One is from the past. This one is from here and now. Maybe the girl we're seeing here is somehow a mirror image of the girl from the 17th century. Don't you want to wait for Daniel and Taylor? If they were coming this way, they'd be here by now. Stay loose. Who knows what's up ahead? Hey, wait for us! Shoo! Ugh! Disgusting! Guys? You there?
Angela. Shit. No. What did she do to deserve that? It's just you and me now. Until Taylor and Daniel get to us. Hey! There's something blocking the door. Give me a hand, will ya? This place is a museum of some kind. She in there? Relax. This doesn't feel right. Stay focused. We're not having a rerun of what just happened to Angela. You sure about that? I'll do whatever it takes to keep us both safe. Once we're out of here, we'll hook up with the others. That's if they're still alive. Why is this kid out here on her own? It's strange. Maybe she's linked to Mary somehow? Gotta be. Though how and why, I'm not sure of yet. Disturbing. It creeped the hell out of me. This is what the trial was all about. 
people being in cahoots with the devil. Right. And this kid, Mary, who snitched on everyone. That's gotta be the girl we're seeing. We can get out this way. Where'd that little girl get to? She let us in here and then disappeared. Maybe that was her plan all along. I'm not sure about that. Almost out of juice. No signal out here anyway. You hear that? Maybe. Heard something, not sure what. Guys? Professor? That you in there? Can we just get out of here? hell are the others? Probably as lost as us. You think they're looking for us? Could be. Angela's got no interest in finding me. That's for sure. She's got a mean streak, all right. But she's got some heart. You sure about that? Yeah. I've known her for a long time. Longer than any of you. She's been through some real shit. But she's still got a soft side. Yeah, I guess you're right.
All right. Ten bucks says no one's home. I'm not touching that. Still, first place we've seen in a while. Find a way in? Like you found a way into that store? You a burglar in your spare time? <laughs> no. But I was in a past life.
Not getting through this way. Hey, Taylor, check this out. Check what out? Don't think anyone's visited for a long time. Oh, yeah, and that's 10 bucks you owe me. Don't owe you squat, I never took the huh? bet. Fair enough. It's loose. I can jimmy this open, no problem. We could have a big powwow about who goes in first, but we both know what's gonna happen. Right. Sure thing. Whoa, what the? What? That's... Oh, shit. Easy now, tough guy. Don't beat up the scary doll. Funny. Get your ass in here. Come on, this way. These things look so real. They're freaking me out. What's up? I just... I just saw something. Where the hell are you going? You sure this is a good move? Taylor! You okay? What's going on? Come on! Come on! What happened? I heard voices. I saw my fucking self looking back at me, dressed all weird, speaking funny. I mean, what the fuck? Well, you go walking around on your own like that and shit happens. Fuck off, Daniel. I thought you had my back. This is so fucked up. This woman, the one who looked like me, they just dragged her out like some kind of criminal. I mean, shit. Let's get out of here. I hear that.
found a knife. Maybe it was a knife one. When dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Think we should bring it along? Here, you take it. Uh, why? It's obvious, dummy. Self-defense. Okay. Small price to pay to make you feel better. I got it. Hey, check this out. The enclosed poppet, or doll, is thought to have originally belonged to a child in the late 1600s. Creepy. 
Shit, wait, I got it. This missing doll has got to be the one I saw with the kid. You think? That's kind of weird. Kind of weird? This place is full on nightmare central. I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. With you on that. Come on, this way up. Oh, hello. Are things becoming any clearer for you? That thing, whatever it is, just keeps coming for Angela. Unrelenting. I do hope she's okay. Now, at last, someone has a weapon. That might prove useful. Let me help you out. Give you one little hint. Well then, how can I put this? We each have our own demons. They are ours and ours alone, and they are often born out of regret. <sighs> I'll leave you now with some wise words from a great Irish playwright I once met in uh, Paris, I believe. <clears throat> Never judge anyone shortly. Every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. She's just a child. Let's speak again later. Looks like we've locked out here. Back on the road. The professor and the others can't be far. Hope you're right. We've been shit out of luck so far tonight. The woman who looks like me... What should she do to be taken like that? Not a great omen for sure, but nothing's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. I hope I get to make things right with Angela. A lot of bad, weird shit gone down tonight. Where the hell is that coming from? I don't know. Oh, we need to slide around the side. Yeah.
We're the first tourists this place has seen for a long, long time. Why would anyone come here anyway? This place is a real ghost town. Get over here! What's up? This is impossible. I know those markings. This is my old tire swing. Look, here, see? Hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay. It's not okay, you don't get it. See these stars? I painted them onto this tire with my dad when I was 10 years old. You sure? Hell yes, I'm sure this is my tire swing. How come it's out here? I believe you, okay? So what does it mean? It's gotta be some weird head trip message for me. Hey, hey, look at me, look at me. We're getting through this, okay? Together. Please help me before it is too late. Hush now, woman. Only the Almighty can forgive your sin. That is your only hope of salvation. Listen to me. I have committed no sin. The puppet I am condemned for is a child's plaything. Nothing more. I swear it. I will not it. be deceived. I see the evil in you. My duty is to cleanse our town of your sickness. There is no other way. 
You must hang. I pray, Lord, for you to take the soul of this, our sister Tabitha, who has been led astray by the devil, and do with it as you will. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> 